Each year, the folks at Dictionary.com look for a word that trended during the year and which is especially important, and they pick it as the word of the year. This year's pick is the word xenophobia. It means an unreasonable fear or hatred of foreigners, people from different cultures or strangers. Xenophobia can be seen as a reaction to a rise in globalization. Xenophobia is increasing around the world. Just look at the reaction to the Syrian refugee crisis, South African unrest, and Brexit. Xenophobia is also seeping into our own country, despite the fact that America has always been a nation of people from different places, different cultures, different races, different creeds. We've been the world's melting pot. A phrase engraved on our national monuments and even our money is e pluribus unum, out of many come one. I don't want to pretend American assimilation of foreigners has always been easy or faultless. White European settlers fought and killed Native Americans, stealing their lands. Some Americans collaborated in kidnapping black people from Africa and forcing them into slavery here. In the 19th century, Chinese workers in the West were discriminated against and excluded. Waves of immigrants from Italy and Ireland and Poland were initially met with hostility. Although Emma Lazarus's famous words on the Statue of Liberty, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, told the world we welcomed immigrants, we didn't always act as if we did. But we have at least striven toward tolerance and equal opportunity. We enacted voting rights and civil rights and barred discrimination based on race, ethnicity, or nationality. But in recent years, as wages stagnated and economic forces began to make many Americans afraid, some politicians used that fear. They channeled it into xenophobia, fear of the other, fear of African Americans, fear of Mexicans, fear of Muslims. Such scapegoating is not new in the history of the world, but it is dangerous. It divides us. It invites harassment and bullying, or worse, it turns us from tolerance and empathy to disrespect and hate. Dictionary.com is right to make xenophobia the word of the year, but it is also one of the biggest threats we face. It is not a word to be celebrated. It's a sentiment to be fought. Thank mm -hmm. you.